I had to take it off. I didn't like this headpiece at all. No, I didn't like it. Oh, I'm sorry. You okay? Oh, it's very sensitive. I kind of know that this cut, the shave zone, is already too large for the old ones that are this big. They never make the distance. These ones require me to shave in. Something I've been procrastinating about for a while. Uh, if I stick this thing back on my head for a second. It's a terrible piece when it has no gel in it or anything. Can you see how unbleached that is? It's just it's abysmal. Look at it. I don't even know what angle to show it to you because no, there are no good angles. But what I want to find out first is how far back I need to shave. And I'm lucky to have this as a sort of a guide. But usually you don't have this, you just start from scratch. Okay, so where do you reckon I should shave back to? My first attempt, if I shave too far, I'm fucked, right? You know what, I just, I had this inkling that if I just wet this a little bit, I'd have more of a sense of it. We know it has to be round, so I'm thinking. Continue the curvation into what you suspect might be a circle. Is that good enough or is it going too far back? Look like Floki from Vikings. It's a scary man. Imagine if that was my look, hey, ladies. You what you're saying, that's what I look like with hair as well, fuck you. All right. It's, it's scary, man. It's very scary. This works. Please cover everything. Please cover everything. Probably not even far enough back by the looks of it. Thank you. That's good. I thought I was being conservative, but I wasn't really sure. Shaving back more. It's almost the horizon of my vision before I need a mirror to see where I'm shaving. That was my biggest fear. Of going back this far. I think it is the horizon. Any further back and I would need a mirror. And I'm already straining as it is. This is totally new to me. I don't even know if I should start at the back and go to the front or the front and go to the back. That 
always go through the back of the front. I don't really want to show any further back than what I've already done. If anything's going to be cut, it's going to be the fucking airpiece next time. How do I give you a proper idea? Yeah. That's how bad this hairpiece was bleached. I kept on trying to pick away at the front while I was driving in the car. You know, I was driving like really slow in traffic for a long time. Lace or poly? You see all those lines? It's because V loops are U loops. No, it's bleached. It's like a grid of black dots, isn't it? <clears throat> but that's the best sort of bleaching you can kind of hope for with um, lace. She's Polly. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to spray this hair with water. Then I'm going to brush it back. Okay, I'm really tired, but I'm just shaved back to the horizon, which is my new term for the point which I can't see any further back, really, if I shave further back. Well, I can, I can see probably there, that's the horizon, really. But a front-on mirror allows me to see the placement of the hairpiece front on. So I'm as far back as I really would ever want to go. But I mean, it's going to have to go back further eventually, but it's a big scary moment for me to have to shave that back. There's a alcohol. There's a comb. It's coming out any sort of accidental hairs that fell in during the gluing process.
and clearing the perimeter. The comb and the alcohol. It's a new sensation having to deal with this area back here. This is usually... Yeah, so for, for many years, I've just gone to about there, but I've just shaved all that, so... This hairpiece is unlikely to fit exactly <clears throat> into that area. Um, but I'm gonna try and place it down from the back to the front, as always, hoping that this Hair piece mostly fits, and I'm thinking maybe any bits that don't fit, I'll cut away from the hair piece and uh, make a new stencil after I finish wearing this, potentially. So, <clears throat> I've wet the hair piece, I've brushed the hairs away from the back, so this area is being bleached. I can't even see. It's almost beyond the horizon. See how it bends? It's really hard to see anything that's going on back there. This can take some getting used to. Making sure those temples are in the right spot. And I'm not sure if this is even the right width. Fold. Yeah, bigger pieces make more folding problems. I can't have air bubbles and stuff going on. Fold. Seems like it's a fold. There's a line there. It's causing that line. Is it a bubble? I can't even tell. That's, that seems like a fold there. It's like a massive fold. Problem. I've got some glue on this side and now here, so it's going to require some extra alcohol, which will require some extra drying time, which makes it harder to set in. I'm going to hold my thumbs over these two temples here. Temple point there, temple point there. I know they're both a little bit too wide, pressing the last hairpiece, but let's see if I can look at that. Maybe it all has to depend on the temples being in alignment. There is going to be a bit of overhang there at the moment. A lot of overhang there, actually. Fuck, it's hard.
It's gonna be a pretty fucking low hairline. I'll wait for that back area to dry. I'm in the alcohol and glue underneath. Up the hairs. I'm gonna wet the hairs again. You know what might be easier, even though I know this is wrong and it needs to come back to about there, it might be easier to glue it all down properly, even though I know I'll have to clean up that glue extra, and then cut it off after it's already so I cut and glued to my head afterwards. Yeah, I'll do that. I can't see a nicer way to do it without any troubles. Uh, the glue and the alcohol can dry at the same time. But I'll do this the front bit now. I just hope there's not too much curling going on up here.
So, phase one of sticking down any hairpiece really for me has always been, well it should have always been, pre-glue the back, place the hairpiece down, jiggle it into position, smoke the hole, get it right, and then if it's poly, you can glue the front, or if it's lace, you've got to guess the front or tape mark the front, which I've just learned recently. So, this is going to have the hairline coming all the way down to there by the looks of things. It really should probably end up about there. But that's the top nub I'm aiming for, to be above that. Just above that. And it looks like it's plenty big enough. There's bound to be some overhang on this piece around the edges. Hopefully, there's not any gap. That would be so a suck. I, I would have made a major mistake if, that, if that's what's going on. But that's the problem. The horizon too far back from the easy. See. Actually, it looks like I've got a bit of gradius there on those hairs. So, this hairline, for me, that's pretty bloody low, but still probably except at the very edge of acceptability, maybe. Just touching the top of the top nub. Sorry, yeah, of my forehead. We've got uh, nicely bleached front hairs that I bleach. So you have to do that with poly, otherwise it's just a wall of hair. And they're going nose to spine, which is perfect. And I'm going to just judge how far I need to cut this. Can I back a bit? Yeah, that's a pretty strong hold happening there. Ultra hold. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, I really cut off a lot of that, didn't I? That was a bad aim. It's 
Yeah, that would have been a nice bit of hair to keep there. Not anymore, I fucked it. I wasn't careful enough. That would be a very nice piece just to let that round around. Okay, I'm just gonna have to be a bit less covered in the area. That still seems alright actually. Hopefully that will be that will blend nicer in time. The glue was stuck mostly to the hairpiece, so it came off primarily with that cut. So it doesn't feel too sticky really. Though I know there's got any residual glue there. So from standing upright and a little bit of that. That's not too bad. I think it's pretty good. Now this side needs to be cut out. I think it actually helps to not ever have sweated or, and also if you do it quickly, I don't know what doing it quickly helps with, but at least the glue was kind of tacky already when it was put to my head. So it hasn't had a chance with my body heat to really melt into my, well basically melt again after it hardened. Try to do it a little bit higher up so it's a second chance kind of thing. Intricate. We'll leave that. In fact, I think it's fallen short of the uh, water. Alcohol. Um, make sure there's no chunk of glue there somewhere. Seems to have just come out of the. There was some sort of chunk there for some reason. It was probably just a blob from where the blob's gone now. I'm going to cut my hair two inches long at the back and then four inches long at the front. An orange peel haircut that I just told myself in the last video. Might have to see 22 some of that at the front there. But that's not a bad, um, 
so bad for him, I'm really for Poe. Okay, so this is currently where I'm at with the hairpiece. But I haven't looked about back here. It could be that there's a little bit of overhang. There should be some overhang. I don't think I got it exact. If I did, this is comfortable. I'm glad about the shave zone that I did. Because it was a lot harder to place the hairpiece. There is some overhang here, I can feel it. Some plastic is sticking out over this edge. Because I think what's happened is the shape of the front is very dome-like, but the shape of the shave pattern was more kind of just more triangular, I would probably. Okay, let's see what the damage is actually like. Brand new hairpiece, brand new shave zone. The entire reason for all this was to eliminate the balding area back here. There's still, there's still a balding zone. You can see some overhang there with that plastic there. I don't know exactly what could be done on that. I'm glad of the improvement. I think there was some improvement for me. We'll see. Let's look and see if these hairs are still two inches long back here. I don't think they would be. I think I cut off all the two inch long natural hairs. He's got to more like, um, they're averaging out to be like 4.5 centimeters. So with the previous hairpiece, I cut about five or six layers. You can even see that um, plastic overhang area very easily with the poly. I imagine it might have to cut that out, but the last time I did it, it caused really big issues. I have no, I have no very good visibility back there ever again anymore. I wonder if that could just be sort of like brought forward a tiny little bit like that. Okay, we'll see. Anyway. How's that going in there? I feel like it's a bit of overhang over here. As well. So again, I'm not really confident.
How's the transition? It just looks bold all back there. Like, as far as the eye can see. Well, I'm gonna sleep on it. I like the hairline though. Polly's a clear winner as far as I'm concerned. I just hope that this uh, transition back here all looks good. And... Yeah, I will eventually have to get a bigger hairpiece, cover up that density difference. Well, if it grows long enough that it doesn't show such a density difference, then it'll be okay. I really can't have this flap here. This overhang, um, it's a tiny overhang, surprisingly tiny actually, but it just sort of forces the hairs to sort of stand up in that spot, but it's okay, it could be, they could be forced down, I think. There should still be a lot more res residual glue along here that dirt will gather on overnight. I can feel there's some sort of resistance here. Just from touching glue, it turns dirty. I can't be bothered doing it today. Maybe I'll pick it off after the shower or something. And on that side there. to see 22 those front hairs as well because it looks like I got a little dab of glue on there. Mostly the hair one is quite nice with the front with nose to spine, uh, bleached hair, hair, V loops. So your nose to spine with V loops and the bleached front hairs and I got it right this time. Last time I bleached all the way up to there or something crazy. Here it's just the front little bit there. About, a, about an inch deep actually. About an inch in, put with the dabber, and then, yeah. So the front hairline's worked out. Tomorrow I'll uh, cut and style it. I'll either do the rainbow or decide to just kind of leave it long so I can sort of try to do some sort of Clever overhang thing, I don't know. Maybe. See you tomorrow.